łudzinika. How's it going, everyone? We're down here live at the Nexon Arena. My name is Valdez. With me is Wolf. We're about to get started for the losers bracket, the second one for the SSL. Yeah, we've got four best of threes coming at you guys tonight. The losers are out of the tournament entirely. Many of these players have already lost in the GSL. Some of them are not playing in Pro League very often mm. or at all. So this is a really important moment for all these players because if you're out here, you're not in the GSL, you're not being fielded in Pro League, you're waiting a long, 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 like pretty, yeah, actually quite really long. long. Uh, Add a couple more longs in there. More long. we'll, we'll get there soon. Yeah, you know? an extended period of time before yeah. we have season two for either this tournament or the GSL in Korea. With Koreans being locked out of international tournaments, yeah. this is really important. And consider the fact that we have huge names tonight, like Alive who's doing really well. Biel is in here, classic. Yeah. Byun as well, I, yeah, I believe Byun, is here tonight. Hurricane. He's doing really well for Le Legacy of the Void. Yeah, Solki will be playing tonight as well. So there's a lot of really good players coming at you guys. So uh, if you guys don't know how this tournament has been working, it has been double elimination. It wasn't initially like that, but you know, there were outcries on the internet. Yeah. Uh, the, the, the moderator of the StarCraft section on Invent threatened to kill the president of Kespa. So we yeah, decided that happened. We decided to actually change the format to actually winner's bracket and loser's bracket. So these guys all basically in the old format would have been out of the tournament, but they've got a second chance. Yeah, well, their second chance isn't, uh, they don't get much of a second chance here tonight, Wolf, because it is only a best of three. And really anything could happen in the best of three. I mean, it's still relatively new in Legacy of the Void. This is a look at our winner's bracket so far. We can actually translate some of these names. I think that's Ragnarok, Ragnarok versus Solar, and then yeah. Dark versus Stats in the top four. So we got three Zerks, one Protoss in the top four so far. And down here in Losers, it's actually all the matches today, the round of eight. Alive versus Biel, Hurricane versus Bion, Sue versus Patience, Sulky versus Classic. Wow, I did it. Yeah. I love the fact, by the way, that losers round number three is going to be a best of five, so it's not going to be as stressful or as crazy to try to get out of this loser bracket. They'll have a bit more of a chance. It'd be really funny if the first loser bracket was best of five, and like the further you got in the loser bracket, just got less than like the best finals. Best of one. Yeah, the finals of the loser bracket is like best of one. You made it this far, but if you screw up one time, you're out of the tournament. That would be a really bad format. <laughs> we might have to change it midway through. That uh, might, as has happened before. Yeah, I was gonna say that's. It's not like that's something that's never happened before, mm. uh, but it does happen very rarely here in Korea. We have some events out in the studio. Um, they're not that important if you're a foreigner, unless you can like read Korean and you like well, go on the Facebook and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, I, I think if you came down here, you still could get a pin, at least. I, I think that's something that you could actually get. So come down. We talk about this all the time. It's free to come down. We'd love to have you down here. You can talk to us. You can talk to the Korean casters, the players, get pictures, and get pins. You yes. should do it at some point in your life. Yeah. Uh, if you get a pin, you're gonna, you're definitely going to get an Alive thumbs up, just like this <laughs> picture here. Now, <laughs> as you guys can see, Alive is actually on fire right now, winning his last two Pro League matches, as well as 2 owing Myungshik in losers. So he's actually doing much better than he was last year and uh, in Heart of the Swarm. Yeah, and Biel getting a little bit uh, jealous of the sexy boy, Ro, trying to challenge him there with that gesture. Um, did take a 3-0 loss against Solar, uh, but then was able to defeat Super and Blaze in Pro League, but not quite the super dominant uh, Biel that we are used to. Yeah, his only wins really in Legacy have been in ZBP. If you ask any pros player in Korea about that matchup, <laughs> they're, they're going to tell you something. You're going to get a very honest answer about Zerg being really strong and how they want to, yeah. you know. It, it might include some foul language, but... Yeah, maybe. In our map list, we actually start with Olarina, something you pointed out to me earlier. So that's going to be a crazy starting match. We're not going to get to our bigger map until we get to Ruins of Ceres, as we have Orbital as our second map. Yeah. Well, guys, we're going to jump into our interview videos now. So let's take a look at that. 네, 안녕하세요, 한희석 선수. 안녕하세요. 네, 오늘 컨디션 어때요? 아, 오늘 좀 피곤해가지고 그 컨디션이 좋진 않네요. 한지원 선수가 <웃음> 친하다고 들었는데 네. 이전 인터뷰에서 높은 곳에서 만났으면 좋겠다고 했잖아요. 네. 근데 패자조 2라운드에서 만나게 됐어요. 아, 네. 좀 안타깝긴 한데 그냥 
누가 이기든 이기면은 그냥 그 선수는 결승 갔으면 좋겠어요. GSL에서 한지원 선수를 이기고 올라갔는데 이번에도 자신 있어요? 네, 맵이 괜찮은 것 같아서 아무래도 결승은 제가 갈지 않을까 생각하고 있습니다. 혹시 경기 앞두고 한지원 선수랑 연락할까요? 아, 원, 단, 단체 카톡방도 있고 해가지고 거의 매일매일 연락하는 사이에요. 그래서 뭐 누가 이기던 지던 별로 그렇게 기분 나쁘거나 그런 건 없, 없는 것 같아요. 그러면 절친한 친구인 한지원 선수한테 한 번. 음, 우선 <웃음> 서로 프로리그 있어서 그렇게 준비는 많이 못한 것 같은데 그냥 누가 이기든 서로 응원해서 재밌는 경기 했으면 좋겠다 지원아 네, 수고하셨습니다 고맙습니다. 안녕하세요 안지원 선수 안녕하세요 네 연습 많이 하셨어요? 네 연습은 적당히 했고요 네, 네 괜찮아요 저번 시즌에 중공성공인데 <웃음> 패저조로 떨어졌어요 네 자존심 상하셨나요? 좀, 사, 좀 상하긴 하는데 제가 저번 시즌만큼 욕심이 크게 없어가지고 그러려 하고 있어요 GSL에서 한희석 선수를 만나서 탈락했는데 네. 오늘도 상대도 한희석 선수예요. 네. 복수전 가능할까요? 네, 어, 그때는 좀 컨디션도 안 좋고 좀 게임에 대해서 잘 몰랐기 때문에 졌던 거고 이번에는 제가 이길 수 있을 것 같아요. 두 선수가 실제로 친하다고 하거든요. <웃음> 네. 경기 앞두고 서로 연락하셨어요? 아니요, 딱히 연락은 안 했고 그냥 평소 하던 하던 대로 했어요. 그러면 절친한 친구인 한희석 선수는 한번어 GSL 코드에서 올라가 있으니까 오늘은 내가 이길게. 네, 감사합니다. 네. 감사합니다. So there you have it, guys. I know that was all in Korean. We can give a little bit of a rundown. There, uh, Alim seemed pretty confident, even though he was like, "Oh, my condition isn't that good, but I should be able to win today." But I'm not sure if I'm going to make it to the finals. Yeah, he said uh, like right before that it'd be good if whoever won today made it to the finals, but uh, mm -hmm. it wasn't even clear if he means the losers' finals or the actual finals. But uh, yeah, he's not incredibly confident. Whereas Bill just kind of talked about his his failures in past seasons. Uh, yeah, said that he lost to Alive apparently in the GSL. They were talking about that and he was like, at that time I didn't really know how the game was, you know, no. supposed to be played. I didn't understand the meta yet. But now I feel pretty confident and, uh, you know, he said to Alive directly that uh, he's going to win this time and move on to the next round. Yeah, and uh, we'll see who ends up winning now. Um, wow. <laughs> Reeling it in. And then. He like reeled that camera right into himself. Like he had the double gun pose going on. Um, <laughs> it's like I was a bit taken aback by that. But we're gonna go yeah, into this. Uh, the fans usually aren't that uh, passionate, I suppose, about being on camera. Yeah, usually they're either hiding or texting or yeah. playing Hearthstone, trying to pretend they're not on camera or they're trying like, to appear, you know, invisible. Or they're like doing some real nasty trash talking on Nven on their phone. They're oh, like, yeah. Well, like, I think this you guy is a couple absolute of guys like trash. That out there. He lost one set to a foreigner at BlizzCon two years ago, <laughs> and I think that he is the worst player that has ever graced yeah, our Total country. scrub. He shouldn't even be in this tournament. I don't even know why I came today. <laughs> Stuff like that. Uh, I, I've just I like to make jokes about Envin these days because Envin is basically for the, those of you guys who are big StarCraft fans, uh, the team liquid of, of uh, Korean yeah. like uh, esports. But they also it's used for not only StarCraft but like Heroes and League of Legends, and uh, I'm sure like there's probably a cart rider page where people talk mad trash. But oh, everyone yeah. is really mean on that website. <laughs> and it's there are like some really cool resources on the website as well, just like Team Liquid. But everyone who's posting in the forums is like pretty much has a black heart and evil. Yeah, I, I can only imagine those cart rider forums. That, that game has been out for so long, and the pro gamers actually, unlike the rest of the other Korean pro gamers, are actually, from what we've seen on the videos, they like to trash talk a oh, lot. Oh yeah, for sure. <laughs> they don't really care. I mean, their game is as you know as dead as it possibly could be in the world. So they're just like, yeah, whatever. You know, I'm gonna kill this guy. It's gonna be easy. 
And uh, I'm sure the fans on Inven love to get a, a piece of that action, too. Oh, no doubt. Well, our first map, as mentioned, is going to be Arena. And Oi versus Biel, two former teammates going at it here together. I, I actually have to favor Alive. What about you? Yeah, I'll go with Alive here, too. I mean, Bill just hasn't been on the same page uh, as he used to be uh, in the past couple of years. He's been so dominant, but just not showing the same expertise, especially in this matchup and against Zerg. That's right. I'd, I'd, have, to, I'd have to give you that same that sort of explanation is basically what I'd say as well. Looking only strong versus Protoss right now, but what Zerg isn't. Well, guys, we're going to jump straight into game number one right now on Olrena. Well, going into set number one here between Alive and Biel. Again, this is going to be a best of three. So the first player to get to two wins will move on. And up in the top left in the red, the Terran player, it's Alive. Those Ray-Ban glasses. Mm. Nancy. And his opponent to the bottom left in blue. It is Biel. Presenting today, CJ Antis, sponsor and team. Now, these two guys, if you want to... You want to hear some wolf history, okay? Like the historian yeah, let's coming out. Let's sit back and uh, light up a cigar and just yeah, <laughs> sit by the that. fireplace. Yeah, puff and let that wolf, uh, you know, tell us all a story here. Puff that cigar, recline in your chair, turn up your gas fireplace, mm. um, and remember that these two were actually ones together on the team Fnatic a long time ago uh, when they were playing together in GSTL. And that was when Alive was probably at his peak for Wings of Liberty. And Biel was beginning his career as a top-level pro gamer. Disappeared for a while, and then at the end of Heart of the Swarm was consistently getting second place in a lot of tournaments, uh, going to multiple finals. In fact, uh, losing both GSL and Star League finals back-to-back -back in um, the end of the year, in both season threes of those tournaments. But, uh, just yeah. as you were telling that story, I just imagined like a ring of kids sitting around you around a fireplace being like, really? <laughs> oh man, I didn't know. What? Wait, Whoa. hold on. Hold on a second. Enough with the jokes. Because okay. Alive is putting on a show for us tonight. We got five racks. Five racks Marine too. It's not going to be five racks Reaper. This will almost certainly result in a multiple SCV pull when the push occurs. This is a build that we used to see sometimes in Wings of Liberty. And with the new economy and how fast it grows, like the growth of economy for production for Tier 1 units in this uh, new expansion, means that you can do a really strong push like this. And uh, I've actually had people do this to me, even in, against like me as Protoss and Bunker Rush me and stuff like that. If you don't see the bunker or the barracks, it's hard to know something like this is coming. Yeah, um, and Alive was very meticulous about pushing away all the other overlords to make sure that Biel would have no chance to see this. and. I was going to say we didn't quite get to it, but the rush distance on this map at going down the really thin path in the middle is so short uh, compared to some of the other maps we do have in the pool right now. So very good build to start off the best at three. I feel you're going to put on a ton of aggression, and it's perfect for the map. And not only is uh, this aggression you know, quite powerful because of the rush distance, but also that choke point is quite narrow, so if you end up having to retreat back into it, you can actually prevent the Zerglis from surrounding your Marines. Biel is rushing out of lair. We haven't talked too much about what he's doing. He also has fast link speed. But with this league cleaned up, I think we're going to see a live about very shortly. He has 17 Marines on the map. No Baneling Nest is the key here. He just made seven drones. He's going straight into Spire. Oh, man. He might just be direct <laughs> countered here. Yeah, this is about as greedy as you can get. Just two base uh, lair. You're going to make a blind spore here. Just get out all your gases and try to control the skies and the map with your mutas. But that's not going to do much against this many Marines, Wolf. Here it comes. And, you know, people see people type in chat bit by bit prime when they see <laughs> cheeses coming. But this is actually the original bit by bit prime type of strategy right here, what right now. What is going on, man? <laughs> this is literally what a, a guy made Where his career Where am I, Wolf? Of. 
Well, what, we're what? back in we're back in 2010, <laughs> Valdez. What year am I living in, Wolf? What is this? Here comes the attack. We've got SCVs tanking at the front. Very few Zerlings out on the map. He's making three spines in the main base. He's trying to get those spines down, but just look at how many Marines there are and all the SCVs tanking the damage there. All of the links have gone down, and these queens are going to follow suit. I think this is just game over. GG. Spines were at the natural even. He wasn't even going to try to hide those in the main. What a shrinking. LOL. <laughs> alive by Alive Prime. No, this is... <laughs> This is a strategy that worked in Wings of Liberty because no one was scouting. Oh, man. Overlords were slower back then. I remember one of my favorite bit by bit prime versus uh, bit by bit prime games back in, I think, early 2011 was bit by bit versus Moon on Jungle Basin. Uh, I think I remember the game you're talking about, Moon, actually. Moon sets a Baneling trap and misses the detonation. Yeah. If, yeah. If, you, if, if you don't know what I'm talking about, you should Google it because I'm sure you'll find it. It's a really funny GIF. But yeah, Alive is pulling out some old <laughs> strategy here. That was a really strategic move. I mean, I guess he was just saying it's so easy to deny scouting on this map, unless he's gonna sacrifice an Overlord, which it didn't seem like Bill had any intention of doing. He prepared a really fantastic build to, to get it started here and win game one really fast. You could even see the coach going in to talk to Bill and just be like, okay, you know, that was really crazy, but uh, listen, it was, a, it was a cheese, you got this, you're not out of it yet, but uh, you do have to play from behind here.